Hey, I'm Jordan. And Ed. And I'm also Jordan. And Ed. This, this is, is Jordan, Jordan Squared. Squared. Plus. Welcome back to Jordan Squared, where, uh, do... It really is pretty. It really is. I can see the beautiful majesty of the cosmos, the infinite reaper. I'm bored, let's go. <laughs> <laughs> Where's that from? The I'm bored, let's go. Like after... Because I know that's from something. It's so... I, don't, uh, I don't know. Could be from a lot of things. I never do anything original ever. All of my everything is from something. Mm. Mm. God, I hope this is it. Because as much as I'm enjoying watching you play, it's, this has dragged on long enough. Yeah, that last segment was... Brutal. Oh, I saw something. Mm. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, no, behind you. Okay. But there's a button. Is there? So there is. You've been taught to push green buttons this entire game, and you saw a green button, you're like, dude. I didn't recognize. It didn't register as a green button in my brain. Well, your first mistake was having a brain. You're not wrong. Hot chat. Go. Go into the light. Go in the butthole. Oh, hi. Okay, that's the butthole you wanted. What did you say, Ed? I said so that's, that's the butthole, butthole you want in. The uh, giant space The devil's butthole. anus! Go into the Eye of Sauron! We are going through an Oblivion Gate! Um, try to think of what other references I can make. Tits! That's not really a reference. Yeah. I'm blind. Loading. <laughs> I don't know why, that's just... <laughs> it's so iconic. A loading screen on a black... Oh, on a white screen? Every movie is a white screen. Oh! Hands. Uh... Uh, hi, giant baby. Hi, Helena. Okay, so he's got a big invincible everything proof shield, that's great. Okay, that's sparking my shield, so oh, that was that is it. <laughs> it finally fell all the way over there, that was This is very different than... Oh, bits are falling off. Um... Sure do. Chuckles mockingly. Let's try something a little heavier here. Okay. Uh, uh, alright, alright, alright. What the... Okay. Whoa, what hit you there? Uh... You can turn off the laser so you can fire the kid. Okay, cool. Oh! Refresh! Do you... Refresh what? Fire what? Isn't... Are, didn't those gold things... Those crystals recharge you or something? No. I swear I saw it. Left? What's a left? You're left, left. left. Oh god. Oh, look to your left. I think it. Yes. 
Well, that's gonna give me energy, but it's not gonna restore health. What? So I do have cover here. Whoa. <laughs> I'd rather have energy than no energy, though. You're not wrong. Oh, that's health. Cool. Look at that. Um, excuse me? Yeah, what hit you? Something that I wasn't looking at. No, I did some damage to it. Ooh. Ooh. Oh, hey. What do you got for me? Everything. Sure, I'll take it. Fuck your everything. You just call it a mecha, baby. That weird green undulating thing up in the sky. Yeah, yeah, I don't know what that is. God! Maybe you're supposed to shoot the green glowy thing? I don't know, because I'm busting up his, uh, pal. <gasps> I think that'll give you. Yes? It's a chunk of the building. Oh, sh. Oh. Damn! <gasps> Look into it. Oh, nice. I'll take yeah, it. Yeah, they continually keep you I don't think you should use the, the grenades here unless the shields are up. Yeah, good point. Better. Or maybe blow up that crystal. Yeah, that's probably gonna be. We didn't like that. said something about Nipple Man. I thought you were talking about this guy. Because his name is... Ooh, okay, well... Mm. Whoa, he just threw a fucking car at you! <laughs> he sure yeah, did. It's pretty great. He does have a nipple on him. Um, I would try to find the... Uh, yeah. That's a little pick me up along the way. Hey. Yep. Dumb fire that one in him. <laughs> Alright. Giant mutant space nipple baby. Is he a mutant though? Like, he's definitely evil, but is he a mutant? He's a little bitch. I'm okay with that result. Oh. Oh, Mark. 
crystals. Blow those up. Have you ever played Deep Rock Galactic? Yes. This reminds me of one of the missions. Oh, this will tranquilize. So, hang on, where's my. Yeah, this is too. Yeah, because. Uh, oh, there's a the chunk building. I can use <coughs> some rockets. Which is a sentence that I never thought I would ever hear uttered by anyone ever in my life. Bleeds. Definitely bleeds. Yeah, there's a mission in Deep Rock Galactic that you have to do where part of it is tap pillars. Oh, the pillar went up. So let's just. Uh -oh. oh my god. This is one angry baby. This is one angry. Uh -oh. Yikes. There sure is a lot of bullshit happening. What the? Oh, gotcha. Oh, that looks like that. Okay. Oh, maybe shoot the. I don't know. Just a lot of everything happening right now. Okay. Something's happening. Sorry, Ed, I could not hear you over there. Hey, it's a dangerous tantrum. Oh! Shoot his head! Ah, there we go. <laughs> oh god, there's this shit flying at me everywhere. You have full lasers. Lasers <laughs> way better here. Yeah. I do like Portal. First game, well, second game I ever played on this show. Uh, <laughs> we defeated the giant nuclear baby. <laughs> and now it's loading. Okay, let's... Uh, Alright. Well, he didn't blow it up 
really good. Yep. Gone and now I'm Freeman in the flesh. Who the fuck are you? What? Or what is happening? In the hazard. G man. He appears throughout the game randomly if you look around. Leaving you of your weapons. Most of them were government property. As for the suit, I think you've earned it. The border world, Zen, is in our control. For the time being, thanks to you. Quite a nasty piece of work you managed over there. I am impressed. Who the fuck are you That's and why Washington? I'm here, Mr. Freeman. I have recommended your services to my employers. And they have authorized me to offer you a job. Well, I can't have a worse first day than I did here. You have limitless potential. You've proved yourself a decisive man. So I don't expect you'll have any trouble deciding what to do. Can I, can I if off? you're interested, just step into the portal and I will take that as a yes. Otherwise, well, I can offer you a battle you have no chance of winning. Rather an anti-climax after what you've just survived. Time to choose. But uh, oh, is this a but thou must situation? It's like this is. It is timed. It's time to choose. <laughs> Fine. Well, it looks like we won't be working together. No regrets, Mister Freeman. I don't know who you are or what the fuck's happening. He Oh, oh god. Well, I suppose getting into a fight with a black hole is uh battle you can't win. Yeah. Observation turn up of subject declined offer of employment. Alright. Reload the save so you can actually see the correct ending. Also, where'd Ed go? To be this that again? Right here. Well, I mean, he took me, so. Oh. I don't know. Nice. Let's do this. End game. Incorrect ending. Well, I mean, this is the ending that. It's the candidate. <laughs> Wisely done, Mr. Freeman. I will see you up ahead. I don't know you or what's happening. Status hired, awaiting assignment. Uh, early in the game, you can actually see him talking to some scientists during the beginning. I think, I think we, we pointed, pointed him out. out. Yeah. Hmm. Well, that was a long time ago. I don't remember. I have a vague recollection of me trying to show him to you and you were just too busy. Yeah. I think like, you succeeded one time. Yeah. Looking everywhere except for the place I was aiming you towards. Alright, well. That game sure happened. Alright. Uh, in my opinion, Half-Life 2... Half-Life 2 Episode 1 and Half-Life 2 Episode 2 are nowhere near as ridiculous as this was. Now, are you speaking about the uh, Half-Life the first in general, or just the I the would bluff? say so, yeah. Uh, it yeah, only gets better from here. Yeah. Because, like, what the fuck like... even was that ending? Like, what the, like I... there, was no, there was nothing going on there. What do you mean by it, nothing going on? It makes on? more sense when you get to the sequel. Um, I suppose. I do so. like Half-Life 1, but it, it's an old, janky game, and this re-release here is fantastic except for Interloper, which I think just goes 
way too long. Yeah, that really dragged. Zen. Aside from that, I think it's fantastic. From from what I could see, like observing, Zen is great. I love it, it except Interloper. It's like well, why? The first part of Interloper where you learn that the Vortigaunts are just slave labor and slave soldiers. Yeah, that's neat. And then you just start going through the factory, and there's like nothing going on. You're just fighting. You're just doing a lot of inane platforming with the occasional, you know, heavy combat. Yeah, which gets doesn't. Monotonous. Yeah, and they don't mesh well. Like that level of combat no. in a precarious situation in this game specifically doesn't work. Because the nature of your mobility kit is for traversing long distances, so when you're on confined platforms that you might easily be knocked off of or jump off of inadvertently, it's bad. That, I mean, most of the stuff at the end you can strafe and not get hit by most of it. You just weren't doing that because you were frustrated. But, yeah, you do have a point there. There was also... There's also... Uh, I will say that... Zen in this, just again, through observation, looks a lot more engaging than Zen in the original, though. Is it's Zen in the original is very muted? Like, this is very vibrant and it feels otherworldly. Yeah. The original one is just kind of... Bleh. Just looked like, oh, now I'm in ugly land. Yeah. But yeah, everything about Half-Life 2 and then Episodes 1 and 2. The the gameplay is better, the story is more interesting, it's more cohesive, and the level design is a lot better. Yes. I would say there's specific parts in Half-Life 2. I find a level design for a first-time player is kind of, really? That was the solution? But as replays, I'm like... Yeah. But it's not like this. No. Uh, you got hints of it in the first part of Zen, which we were actually talking about, like, oh, wow, this is... It's like night and day going from Half-Life 1 level design to Half-Life 2 level design, and you could see it with the transition to Zen. Hmm. Um, it becomes much more like that. Well, And then Interloper, for some reason, goes back. It goes back to Half-Life 1, and it's like, why? You were doing so well. Right? Maybe Black Mesa is an okay game overall. I also now kind of want to see you play the original Half-Life, just because. Mm, I don't know. We'll see. I don't know if there's much to be gotten from it. You could watch gameplay videos and get, like, the aesthetic. I don't know if there's any reason to go back for, like, gameplay. If you would get anything from it. Aside from frustration. Perspective. Unless you want to throw on God Mode and just tear ass through it. Oh yeah, but it I I sometimes like the perspective of playing older games in a franchise and seeing how the franchise evolved on a gameplay level. Or devolved. I think that this game does a good enough job of showing the Half-Life 1 gameplay that you don't really need to go back. That's my opinion. I grant you, but I don't know if it's worth going back. Sometimes it's just not worth going back. Well, there you have it, folks. I have now played the original, sort of, Half-Life. Yes, Close original to. asterisk. Yeah, with a, with, a, with, a, with a few asterisks and a semicolon. Mm -hmm. and, a and a big, big close, close enough stamp on it. Yes. Oh, this is broadcasting the time of recording as part of the video here. I forgot it was... Huh. I forgot it was... Oh, well. So they're going to see... So as we air this, unless I... Uh, yeah, unless I put a big box over that, they're going to see when we actually recorded this. Oh, no. Oh, well. All right. Well. I guess uh, next time on Jordan Squared, we'll be doing something else. May hopefully Half-Life 2 eventually. Oh, yeah. In all, I mostly had fun. Yeah. Mostly. Mostly. All right. It mostly was a fun game. Mostly. <laughs> all right. Catch you next time, Squares. Later. Bye.